from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. That's pretty cool. 47 now past the hour. Uh, springtime weather today. 60s already a high, near 80. We're going to have some clouds. We should have some sun breaks near and west of Tulsa through the afternoon. And again, it's going to be another kind of breezy, warm, uh, windy type day. South winds at 20 to 30. Couple of gusts near 35. And uh, already the winds are up. Of course, they've stayed up overnight. So temperature 60s now. Uh, the lunch hour should be in the lower 70s this afternoon between 3 and 4 o'clock. We're going to have lots of 70s across eastern Oklahoma. And from Tulsa West, we may kind of briefly hit that 80 degree mark. Uh, 7, 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Temperatures are not going to drop much at all. Uh, so you leave the big coat behind at least for a little bit, right? And no rain gear today, but tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, shower and storm chances will ramp back up. Now, some of these... Uh, will end up being strong and severe. We could have some pockets of locally heavy rainfall. This will be a relatively kind of slow moving system. Uh, so we'll have some leftovers early Friday morning. And then on the next part of this uh, timeline here, Sunday would be at least a probability for a shower or two, uh, but low chances. So here's the Thursday setup again from I-44 to the south and southeast tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. That's where we start to track the potential for strong to severe storms. So we can have a shower storm tomorrow morning. It's a low probability, but once we cross the lunch hour around the 3, 4, and 5 o'clock hour, we're pretty much in that higher category, and that'll continue on until about 3 to 4 o'clock Friday morning. Uh, so the severe weather threats could linger through this entire period here, uh, and the opportunity for strong severe storms, again, it's kind of migrated uh, back more to the north. If you've been watching the last several days, uh, the key to the severe weather risk assessment is going to be the speed of the boundary. Well, today it looks like the boundary is slowing down a little bit. So consequently, uh, the severe weather risk assessment has now traveled a little bit more to the north, and that would include the Tulsa Metro and the 44 corridor. Uh, the, the opportunity also for some of these storms to maybe even produce some hail coming up for tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night, along with the potential for pockets of heavy rain and also some wind. So here's 10 to 11 o'clock, some clouds, and then we should have a little bit of sunshine in the mix. So from Tulsa West, that's why we've put uh, 80 on the map and then some 70s across eastern Oklahoma. So tomorrow morning, it'll be another kind of mild temperature start in the 60s. There's our boundary. So the boundary kind of scoots down into northern Oklahoma and then slows down. So by 2, 3, and 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we start to track those storms developing. Temperatures will still be in the 70s, but this would be the very beginning phase of those a potential strong severe storms for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night that we continue on to pre-dawn Friday. As the system is trying to leave Friday morning, we'll have north winds at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that will cool us down. Uh, so it'll turn a little brisk, kind of, you know, chilly. I mean, not excessively cold compared to where we've been the last uh, week and a half or so. Saturday looks pleasant, and a light wind showing up on Saturday, high of 65. Sunday, there is a system that could be near us, uh, still a low probability for shower storm, but that front pushes through Sunday, and that'll bring us back down into the upper 50s for Monday and Tuesday.